the previous episode of Tug of War, this Ram Heavy Duty Cummins 2500 truck was the champion. First, it beat the Ford Bronco with a Sasquatch package. Then it also beat a skid steer, Caterpillar. But now my friend, Tractor Time with Tim, uh, called me up and he said, I've got something for you that could potentially take down your ram. So he's gonna show up here at Tumbleweed Ranch. Oh, and here he comes down. Hello, my friend. Hey, Andre, good to see you. So, Tim, what have you brought? Well, I brought a John Deere 4 Series tractor. I don't know if this is enough to take on the reigning champion here or not, but we'll try. Okay, so I remember I used a little uh, John Deere tractor. Yeah. Uh, because we use it to mow and kind of do some work around the property here, but this is good. I'm kind of excited about this. Can you show me around? Can you explain how it works? Yeah, yeah, I'll start right here. This is the four series tractor, right? Yours is a one series. Yeah. And simple enough, Deer has one, two, three, four, all the way up to nine. Okay. We Maybe we should have brought a nine uh, series. How about next episode, maybe? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> okay. All right, tell me about the four. This, this tractor is, uh, it looks about the same between 44 horsepower and 66. We brought the 66. Nice. How many horsepower has that Ram got? Only 370. Oh. But, but but here's the thing, I see you brought some rock in your bucket. What's behind you? What is that box? Oh, uh, don't pay any attention to the box. That's just, uh, no, that, that's, that's, it's just a little extra weight. Okay, so you got weight, you got gearing, you got giant tires. So this could be interesting. All right, well, keep going. So 66 horsepower? 66 horsepower in the engine. It's, um, um, this is kind of the heavy duty version of the 4 Series. So it's a little heavier than okay. the standard 4 Series. Um, it's got a heavier loader. It's got a big weight rack in the front. It's, it's, um, it's just, it's built heavier and yet it's a little shorter than some of the other 4 Series. Quite frankly, it was built for chicken farmers. Okay. So they could get it into their chicken houses and yet still do some serious work. So that hoop can be lowered or taken out, right? Yes, it can be lowered, but see, it's it's fairly short. Uh -huh. So even in a, um, uh, a chicken house, they can leave the ROPS up and, um, and, and still be competitive. Now, you talked about the extra weight. I'm just not sure we're going to be competitive. So we tried to get a bucket load of rock. Okay. And then we tried to get some concrete here in this rear ballast box. Okay. Um, and so we're weighted about as heavy as we could be. And I did eat a couple extra cheeseburgers for lunch just to see if I could help that out a little bit. All more. right, and this is, this is four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. Okay. So yeah, the, I think this could be a really excellent tug-of-war because it's unpredictable. Totally different machines, right? Yeah. I mean, the horsepower difference is amazing, but so many other things are, are different as well. So yeah. I really don't know where it's going to end up. By the way, guys, this video would not be possible without our friends at Four Rivers. They have locations in three states, Colorado, Texas, and Wyoming. Check them out for your John Deere or other equipment needs. They're pretty awesome. Andre, I see all these ruts out here where the previous competitors have yes. tried and failed. Suffered. <laughs> but you're on fresh ground. Okay, by good. The way, by the way, people will ask us why we're not doing this on concrete or pavement. Well, it makes no sense. I mean, first of all, that's not a concrete machine, right? necessarily. But also, there's an element of safety here, right? Yeah. I mean, we could be snapping it, axles, drive shafts. Hopping, and once hopping. you get to hopping, those axles are really in danger. Yeah, yeah so, so I've got, let's see, I've got 30 feet of strap. Have you ever done slack lining before? Where you walk on a hot no, line? No. Well, you could try today. So this is the middle. We counted the paces. We've got thunder. Uh, I think that's so. ominous. <laughs> <laughs> the clouds are darkening in the sky. So what are the rules? I mean, there are no rules. Oh no, there are rules. Well, three, two, one, go. Okay. Bam, done. Okay. How far? So. Can, how far can I pull you? Well, hopefully just. Uh, 15 feet. Oh, I thought maybe I could pull you all the way around the ranch. No, I don't like that. 
So Tim, may I, may I enter? <laughs> you may. Okay, this is your office. Okay, let me see. Now this is gonna be just like your one series. Okay. I mean, when you talk about operation, it's it's identical. You got a joystick right here for okay. the loader. You got two pedals, forward and backwards. Yep, uh, that looks familiar. It's no different okay. than, than your one series, and it feels much the same, only it'll be a little bit stronger. Okay. Just a little bit. So then I have my throttle here, right? Yep. But with a with a piece of equipment like this, um, you know how you with a, with a car or a truck, you you vary your your engine RPM dramatically. When when you're working outside, you'll bring that throttle all the way up or almost all the way up for for the majority of the work you do with a tractor. So and that helps with hydraulics, you know, moving machine backwards or forwards, right? All that stuff. Exactly. You get a okay. lot more hydraulic flow. Um, and you just, you know, th th there's nothing wrong with one running these things wide open throttle all day long. That's so what's on the left? Are those brakes? Yep. Those are separate brakes. So you notice there's two pedals there. Yep. The left one will stop the left rear wheel and the right one will stop the right rear wheel. Why is that? Why is that done? Um, it allows you to have more fine control over your steering. Okay. So sometimes if you get one wheel spinning, you might want to stop it. Or sometimes you might want to turn a little bit shorter. You can actually skid your front wheels around. Kind of like a tank almost. Yes, it, it is a, like a, a tank or like a skid steer loader. Or like a Ford Bronco. Does it have something like that? Well, it has it, where it kind of brakes automatically. There is a turn assist feature in the new okay. Bronco. Also, Land Cruisers have have this. This just gives you another level of control. That's that's something that's picked up in the 2 Series. From the 2 Series on up, you, you get those independent brakes. And it, 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 it just gives you a little more control of, of your experience driving. All right, what's on my left here? Uh, parking brake. Parking brake. And, and what's this? three-speed transmission. Okay. Your 1 Series has a two-speed transmission. And this one's got three. So low, medium, and high. Some people say loader, mower, and highway. Okay, I gotcha. You, you, you've got something here where you can make your foot pedals control the throttle. So as you press further on the foot pedal, it'll increase the throttle. You've got some here that will match the speed uh, so that it's kind of like a cruise control. Okay. It'll keep you constant speed. You have another one here which will match the load. So it will, if it gets to pulling harder, it will slow you down to allow you to uh, to handle that load better. So this is an electronic uh, hydrostatic transmission where yours is more mechanical. Uh, well, let me tell you a little bit about the RAM. Okay. And then, then let's do it. Well, I think a lot of people are already familiar with this, right? So yeah, this, but I could use an overview. Um, so this is a 2022 model. So kind of the latest three quarter ton truck, okay. 2500 series. Uh, 6.7 liters, straight six, turbocharged diesel, of course. You know how Ram has um, standard output diesel and then high output? This right. is the standard. Oh, good. So I did not bring that one ton dually. Maybe I should have. We'll see. Okay, so <laughs> 370 horsepower, 850 pound feet of torque, six speed, uh, 68 RFE transmission. And one way you can tell um, if this was a one ton truck with an ISIN six speed, the transmission dipstick would be on this side, but since it's not, the transmission dipstick is on this side. So, and it's a four wheel drive, and because we put a fifth wheel gooseneck hitch kit on this, and the, and the side steps and a couple of other things, it weighs about 8,000 pounds. Okay, 8,000 pounds. That's going to be a that's going to be a heavy load. Um, you have any idea what the towing capacity is on this? Yes. So they rated a 20,000 um, pounds trailer. This is gooseneck or uh, just regular uh, bumper pull. And about 2,000 pounds of payload, which is not a lot, actually. Right. How much? Well, how much can the bucket handle? I would say that bucket's probably got 12 to 1,500 pounds in it. Really? It's just a guess of that type of material. Yeah, I mean, that you know, a material like that's pretty heavy. I don't think this is no longer fair. I'm, 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 I'm a little worried. Okay, well let's just, let's just, let's just do the race. All right, Tim, are you ready to lose? I'm not ready to roll. No, I said, are you ready to lose? Who said anything about me losing? All right, Tim, I'm gonna go to four low, first gear, and traction control is automatically disabled. Okay, I'm in A range and I'm running about 2,000. Okay, my friend, I'm gonna come down, okay? Okay. All right, let's see around what you can do. Three, two, one, go! Come on, come on! Come on, Ram! Well, let's 
see what happened. What, what is this? And you were saying you're gonna pull me to up up the mountain? I won though by four feet. You did win. You just you just have a lot of torque, dude. A lot of this gears. this was an even match. I, I can't imagine two machines. But 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 I thought you weigh like six thousand pounds, right? Well, I may weigh a little more than that. How much? Well, until I dumped some out of my loader accidentally there, probably somewhere around maybe 8,500. You didn't tell me that ahead of time. Well, I was afraid that you'd pull me backwards and I wanted to have some excuse. I guess I'm shocked about how different these machines are and yet how they were nearly identical in the pull. I mean, neither yeah. of us could move really. Yeah, well, this is mostly a highway machine, right? Yeah, uh, for that's not trailers. a very aggressive tire. No, and your machine is really a working machine for the uh, land. And you're right, they were pretty close. I, I can't, I just can't believe it. Neither of us could really get an advantage. That's, that's where we were. It was a, it was a draw, quite frankly. Yeah, I, I think this little mound helped me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so can we see the engine? Can you, how do you pop the hood? Yeah, there's a little safety thing here. It's okay. it's not very handy to, to get that push, but then, then the hood comes right up. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's really hard to see much. I mean, you got the big air filter here. Yeah. And then this is all the emission stuff, right? This is a DPF filter. You, you're used to that in uh, the in trucks. The, the trucks, yeah. So you got three things here. You've got the intercooler for the engine, you've got an oil cooler, and then you have the radiator all stacked up here, right? How many cylinders is this? Only three, three cylinders. Three. Okay. Yeah, it's a Yanmar diesel. So, so it's they, a straight three. That's right. I have a straight six. Well, there you have it. So I need to bring something bigger next time. I'm thinking Unimog. I'm thinking, uh, you know, my friend has a, um, a tank. No, a tracked vehicle. Uh, we will have to bring the 9R out next time. How big is that? 640 horsepower. What? <laughs> All right, stay tuned. On next episode, uh, things will escalate, likely. <laughs> 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 Bigger guns will be here. Uh, AllTFL.com is where you can find our stuff, and where can they go to find you? Tractor time with Tim. Come on out and you'll see everything about little tractors. We use them, we test them. Yep, just like TFL truck, only for tractors.